Hi Aries, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-November general reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in an Aries, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Aries, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Aries, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. I'll we'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Aries, how are y'all doing? I love y'all so much. Thanks again for being here. Again, this is your mid-November general reading. We will be doing a Celtic cross today. All right, we've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Again, for mid-November, we are in Scorpio season still. And we just had the new moon in Scorpio. Hey, winner. Yes, y'all have the six of wands at the bottom of the deck as your theme. Um, this is fire energy. Um, some of you could be dealing with other fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. Six of wands is a victory. It's a win. It's yes, I did it. I crossed that finish line. I got through something that was difficult, conflict, challenge. But this also usually comes with like public recognition. So like job well done, congratulations from friends, family, like employee of the month type of energy for a lot of you. Yeah, princess of cups, king of swords, magician. Um, star card. I feel like for a small group of you, you and someone have worked things out. You and someone as a friend, romantic, whoever that person is for a small group of you, you're like, yes, um, we overcame something. I'm seeing the Jupiter sign. So a lot of you could be really, um, feeling really lucky right now. Very good. Very accomplished victory success coming your way. We love that. All right, we're doing a Celtic cross. So Spirit, what is the current energy, current situation for Aries? Again, mid-November. I knew it. I knew nothing was gonna come out on this one because the moon card kind of flipped out and I wasn't ready. So I feel like y'all are just, you're kind of quiet right now. What's the current energy or current situation for Aries, please? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Nailed it. You're quiet right now. High Priestess. This is a card of no communication or just not really talking a lot. Um, this is a card of, of high knowledge, high wisdom, really trusting yourself, trusting that gut feeling, your intuition. A lot of you right now could be seeing signs and synchronicities, 1111, um, that type of thing. Nine of Swords, Tower moon card a lot of y'all are also keeping a lot of like stress a lot of y'all are keeping a lot of like stress and anxiety staying up late worrying about something someone or multiple things a lot of y'all are kind of keeping that to yourself um at this time i feel like you're really trusting in um your angels your guides your source your gut your body to lead you in the right direction love that for you What's crossing um, Aries, please? What's crossing you? Ooh, Justice, card of Libra. That's actually your opposite sign. And I'm, they're showing me the yin yang, so that could be really significant. There's one here on the third eye and the high priestess in this deck. This is the cosmic tarot, by the way. This is the back of it. Super awesome deck, beautiful. And this is Justice, card of Libra, which also has this giant yin yang symbol in the middle. So that could be really important. I feel like a lot of you are just coming into balance, right? A lot of you are coming into balance. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Also, what I'm getting is justice talks about fairness. 
contracts, legal documents, that type of thing as well. A lot of you could be not really explaining or talking a lot about things that are going like unfair in your life. I just feel you're just like, that's how I see your energy right now. You're just, not that like you give up, but you're just kind of like, yeah, it's not fair. Like I, I, I'm getting this energy from you. You're like, I don't want to hear it one more time from that person or a friend how not okay this situation is. Like you're almost like, like you're like, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> Let's keep going. I see, I see, I see. Okay. What's the focus? What is Aries focused on right now? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. What is the focus for Aries? The Three of Pentacles, okay? And the Queen of Wands, you. So you're feeling, you know, I'm hearing uh, alive, sexy, vibrant, attractive. Um, you have the energy, you have the motivation and the confidence to Three of Pentacles to build or rebuild um, some type of foundation, a family, a team, a structure, a work situation. Three of Pentacles is collaboration. So I feel like you are trying to work together with other people to balance out your situation. I do feel other people are involved for most of you. Recent past, four Aries, please. It's been going on. The King of Wands, Ace of Swords, Mask on Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, some type of truth was revealed. Strength card, Strong Leo, Ten of Pentacles. I'm hearing you're still the one by Shania Twain. That could be really significant. Um, but I feel for a lot of you, this King of Wands energy is like you put your foot down. Maybe someone you're dealing with a strong masculine. Maybe they put their foot down. Because with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like a little bit of stum stubbornness. But I feel like someone also is like, I'm putting my foot down. This is what we're doing. What are we doing? Queen of Wands, we're doing this. This is like a partnership, a twin flame, a counterpart, a business partner, a divine counterpart. I feel the masculine was like, because someone told you Ace of Swords, a strong masculine, it doesn't have to be a man, but it's someone with strong masculine energy, Ace of Swords you, gave you the truth. And the truth that I go, well, what, what are we doing? What did they say to you, Queen of Wands? That's a pair, that's a match. That was intense. All right, what's crowning you? What's crowning Aries, please? You have the death card, card of Scorpio. And again, we are in Scorpio season, two of cups. Some of you are thinking about ending a connection. Queen of Wands there again with the two of cups. Some of you and two of wands, some of you are thinking about leaving a person, a connection, um, especially if there's like multiple moving parts to this. I'm hearing y'all say, say I'm done. Like you're, you, maybe you haven't yet, but you're thinking about giving up on something or or quitting something, um, ending something, you know, quitting the job, you know, moving out of that house, leaving that relationship. You're thinking about it. Hmm. Near future for Aries. We have the Four of Swords and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you can rest. You're getting a lot of, this is a lot of healing. Four of Swords is healing and recovery over the Three of Swords. So for a lot of you, if you're going through pain, grief, if you've lost someone, sending my condolences. Uh, Four of Swords in the future is you're going to find peace in your situation. Uh, Knight of Wands, Chariot, Queen of Cups. I feel like you don't have to worry about someone being inconsistent or not being there for you anymore. I feel like there's a lot of apology, prayer, um protection here you're very protected here i'm hearing the word sanctuary a lot of you are like safe in your home or whatever your sanctuary is lots of peace and recovering like like getting a lot of downtime let me see you how is aries showing up mid-november thank you for these messages what's your power how are you showing up stop this is insane. I love it. Yes. You're the queen of wands. We've got the king back over here. <laughs> You're the queen of wands. Male or female watching, this is your showing up. Very strong and feminine energy. 
very sexy, very attractive, very handsome, very gorgeous. You got your crown on. They showed, they're highlighting the crown. Look at you, no matter what you've been going through, <clears throat> we are adjusting that crown. Confidence is exuding from you. Ace of Wands, Five of Wands, you feel a passionate, hot new beginning. Um, a lot of you might be getting through or getting over some type of, type of argument or disagreement with somebody. You are on fire. You are like looking good, feeling good. Um, you are attracting things to you. Temperance. The right things. Look at that counterpart energy. Ace of Swords just flew out. All right, what's hidden from you? We have the Magician and the Eight of Wands. So there's some type of manifestation happening here. Um, this is a hidden energy, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. So someone is is manifesting you. You don't, maybe you don't realize a hidden energy is maybe you don't realize that you're manifesting something new as well. Um, this is like I want you. I want something. So maybe you don't re maybe you don't know what you want. Or if this is about somebody else, maybe you don't know that someone wants you. What are your hopes and fears? The Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. You're definitely hoping for abundance. You're hoping for safety in the situation. Um, I'm getting like a routine. Like you're you're you want some type of like solid, consistent, you know, job, solid, consistent relationship. Like that's a want. Uh, a fear is having to wait. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Wait longer for whatever it is that your goal is here. What's the outcome for Aries? What is the outcome? Thank you, Spirit. Look at that. Speaking of counterpart, again, outcome lover's card. Hi, um, I love that specifically Gemini's card. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini or might be in the future. This is super divine connection, um, uh, meant to be. Y'all have also the sun card at the bottom of the deck, seven of swords, four of wands, hangman. I feel like this is a, ah, uh, my sister-in-law says this all the time and it's so beautiful. I love this. She says, um, to my brother who she's married to. I, how, I don't want to mess it up. I choose you. I want you and I choose you. I don't need you, right? So that's what I'm getting. For a lot of you, you're choosing somebody because the lover's card is the, the counterpart to that is the devil. It is a divine choice. There is dark and light, shadow and light, that kind of thing. So this is a choice to choose love, a choice to be optimistic, a choice to be sun card, something to come out for happiness, for like happy days to come through here. Uh, seven of swords is showing up in reverse. I don't take reversals, but behind the seven of, uh, the sun is the seven of swords. So I do feel like some truths will be exposed um, for a group of you as well, especially anything that's going on right now that's not fair, that you don't feel is fair um, going on in your life. And with the counterpart thing too, like y'all are Aries and the opposite, y'all's opposite is Libra and this is a crossing energy. I don't know. There's a lot of duality in this reading. And at the very beginning, I'm getting a lot of the yin yang energy, right? A little bit of light in the shadow and a little bit of shadow in the light, right? So like if the last card at the bottom of the deck on the clarifiers is the moon, which is the opposite of the sun, I I'm going to freak out. <laughs> um... There's a major, major, major transformation going on with you right now, especially up here. Whether you're leaving a place, a person, a situation, ultimately your mental health is, is changing, right? I'm in no way, shape, or form a medical professional at all. But you're letting go also, death card in the in the um in your crowning energy is very, very important and big here. I feel like you're you're releasing like 
old stories, old, old ways, old actions, all this wands energy. Wands is about the way we move, the way we behave, the way that we act around others. Like what are our behaviors, um, our characteristics, that kind of thing. I feel for a lot of you, you've changed a behavior. You've released some type of negative mindset for some of you, that type of thing. Like you're letting go of a lot of things that don't work for you. And I don't know why with this King of Wands, I'm keep hearing the words stubborn and stubbornness. So we'll get into that in a second. So maybe some of y'all were just stubborn about something and you're letting it go. Um, you're choosing love or you're choosing to be in something for a lot of you because it brings you um, abundance, life, happiness. You're focused on building or rebuilding a family, a team, a group, whatever your situation is. You will have Four of Swords, peace, serenity, and sanctuary in the near future. And I feel like once you get some downtime, some rest, you'll discover this magician energy, uh, this hidden energy here. You might, once you get some downtime is what I'm hearing and some rest, I feel like you'll have a little bit more free space up here to call in what's next in your life that you wanna manifest, that you want whatever that is for you. Aries, okay, let's go deeper and clarify. I've already pre-shuffled and cut your clarification deck just to save some time. At the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card, card of Leo. Some of you definitely are dealing with a Leo. Three of wands, ooh, tower, Scorpio energy, ace of pentacles, world card. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me world card two of cups okay what is this about you are playing catch up right now strength card three of wands tower there's been some big things going on that you you have either pushed off or have life has forced you to push certain responsibilities things that are um responsibilities some some have been um, like I'm getting procrastination energy, either just by choice or by or for some of you uh, with the tower here, it's like, well, life happens when you're making plans, right? So for a lot of you, you might have start a new job or start a new relationship, but then the tower, then some type of life, big life change happened. And you're, you're like, okay, I'm going to get back to that goal once I'm done getting through this situation, right? So there's been a little bit of a, a time gap. I heard time warp that type of thing, but everything always happens for a reason. Yeah, you're playing catch up. I feel like you're, 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 you're picking back up things that have been on the back burner for you. All right, let's go to the beginning. What's this high priestess about? Why is this here for Aries? This is your current energy, current situation. This is also can be, and not in like a bad secretive way, but the high priestess is like an all knowing, uh, like powerful energy. So you could also be holding information that other people don't know about. Okay. Uh, speaking of, we have the moon card, Pisces, Cancer energy. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's one of my relationship cards. And we have the Knight of Swords. Some of you have a, I don't want to say a secret relationship. Like some people might know, some people might not. Queen of Pentacles, you might know someone at work there. Or you might have like a new work potential. What's hidden here? Moon card, Ace of Cups. A lot of you have some type of Emperor. Ooh, that's you. Or a masculine Death card, Queen of Cups. What? There's a lot of mixed emotions here. I feel like you feel all different sorts of ways about someone for most of you. You're probably in some type of romantic relationship with. You have a lot of feelings for this person. They have a lot of feelings for you. If this is, about, if this is not about a relationship for you, a lot of you here then uh, probably get to do something that you love to do for a living. Um, like you, whatever your creative craft hobby thing is, a lot of you might get to do that for a living. Um, and there's a lot of like new energy and new ideas kind of blossoming from that. Some of y'all have a very unique job 
or you do something very creative that not a lot of other people know about, but you help other people by doing whatever that is. For the rest of you, I do feel like there's a lot of I hear you saying, I don't know how I feel about this person. I don't know how I feel about this situation. So for now, you just kind of keep it to yourself. And also, I feel for a lot of you too, you are keeping some type of, what's the Knight of Swords? This is like, all of a sudden, you heard blah, blah, blah. All of a sudden, you heard King of Swords, Three of Swords, Strength card. You got some difficult news recently. Or that's what's happening right now is you got some difficult news. A lot of you are keeping it cool as best as you can and kind of and, and, and mostly hiding that information, right? Okay, let's move on. Justice, it's clearly not fair. It's not fair. Why is justice why is justice crossing Aries please to a source two of swords knight I'm sorry page of wands knight of cups lovers card again six of wands Why the Two of Swords? Five of Swords, the Emperor, you, the Empress. Stop! This is a divine counterpart. Five of Swords. The Sun is behind you. Okay, so I feel for a lot of you, there's a lot of um, unfairness between, a, like, you you and a, some type of divine counterpart. Five of Swords, I heard, are at each other's throats. Okay, it's like conflict. Like, I just feel like one day it's good, one day it's not good. Okay, I feel for a lot of you too. Um, there's something unfair with this page of wands. Like, someone acts like very immature in your life, but knight of cups, but they tell you how much they love you. Or you love that person a lot. Yeah, you feel, you, you don't really know how to feel about this situation. Because I'm getting like, one day it's good, one day it's, it's not good. One day it's, it's, um... What's the page of wands about? Eight of wands, sun card, and what's the knight of cups? Queen of cups, empress. I'm getting like a timing thing for a lot of you as well. Like a lot of, uh, some of you could be comparing yourselves like, for example, like why don't I have this thing but my all my friends do why don't i have that but all my family has that so i just want to remind you that everything always happens for a reason i asked i know you didn't hear me say this i go why is it not fair what's not fair about this situation for you three of wands because things that you're trying to get done keep falling to the backside, keep getting on the I'll do it later list because two of wands, sun card, king of pentacles. A lot of you are waiting on someone else or, or waiting for money or funding for something. Like you want to move, but you can't afford it right now. You want to change jobs, but there's some family stuff going on. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, I want to do this, but I got to get but, but, but done first. And then I can do that. Right. So I do feel like it's frustrating. Um, but let's move on. Speaking of frustrating. Yeah. Five of ones came out. All right. What's this three of pentacles about? This is your focus to build or rebuild this situation. Why is that here for Aries, please? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Three of Pentacles. Why is this the focus? Four of Swords, Ace of Wands, Star card, Three of Wands, Strength card. 
there is a passionate hot new beginning here with this person, with this family member in this career situation. Why star card? Because you feel that this is meant to be. If you're dealing with other people, they also feel this is meant to be. Four of swords. I feel like y'all have both prayed for this. You and someone might have had a little bit of distance or space or time apart. Um, but three of pentacles, it looks like there's a new beginning for you to build or rebuild because you both star card wished for this, wanted this and believe in this dream, believe in the relationship. You believe in the family, you believe in the goal, you believe in the job situation, three of wands, even though it's, it's taken some time for, from you, um, you believe in it star card, probably a relationship queen of cups for most of you, you believe in this person, you believe in the connection. Let's look at this King of Wands recent past. Why is the King of Wands here for Aries, please? Recent past, masculine, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for most. Doesn't have to be, yeah, this is your counterpart. Four of Wands came out. Could be a business partner, someone that you're just very similar to. Also, oh my God. I was like, if it's the king again, also, that's going to be crazy. So on the king of wands, nine of wands, are you sick and tired of this person? Yeah. Have you known them for a long time? Probably yes. Nine of wands, do you feel a little bit drained slash just like frustrated like your walls are up with this person? Yes. Four of wands, why? Because this is your husband, your wife, your roommate, your partner, your best friend, someone you live with. This is your ride or die. It's that person. Okay. Queen of wands, it's your counterpart. They have the queen down here, you. Y'all are tied, linked. Six of cups. Y'all, some of you might have children together or you come from the same like hometown. Um, maybe you went to college or high school together in Knight of wands temperance. There could have been some inconsistencies in this situation, but that looks like that's coming to a close. So I feel like what we're talking about in the recent past is there is a connection here, but you feel you feel drained by it. Why the Nine of Wands for you? Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Lover's Card. Someone feels isolated and not included, you or them. Why the Four of Wands? What does that mean to you? Four of Cups, Two of Wands, Lover's card. That's a divine counterpart with the Lovers again and the Two of Wands. <clears throat> All right. Why death up here? What are you thinking about getting rid of, letting go of? Why is the death card crowning Aries, please? Thank you. Part of Scorpio. Some of you could be thinking about a Scorpio specifically. And again, we are in Scorpio season. Oh! Empress, Divine Feminine, Ten of Wands. Some of you don't care what your mom thinks anymore. Or I don't care what, who is this to you? Yeah, you don't care what someone thinks of you anymore. I don't need their approval. I don't need whatever, whatever. Some of y'all don't want children. It's too many. Why is the Death Card crowning Aries, please? Thank you for these messages. Why is the Death Card crowning Aries? Very good. Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords, Three of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Well, you don't need to worry anymore. A lot of you are, are maybe concerned that you're in some type of karmic situation, like you're in a karmic relationship or in a karmic something. But I feel like you've completed some type of karmic chapter recently. What's the Wheel of Fortune about? Knight of Pentacles, something you've been in for a long time that you've been confused about. That's been a lot of conflict. It's like these big life changes and stuff. If you've had big major life events happening um, that happened for a reason, some of you might have lost a mother figure, an aunt, a grandmother. That it, that would never ever ever be a prediction, um, but something that would have already happened. Um, some of you uh, that could be on your mind, like missing a, a I miss my mom, I miss my grandma. Are, are some type of feminine who wouldn't be with us anymore. Some of you, it's on your mind a lot at night. Why the Nine of Swords? Yeah, Ten of Wands, Seven of Cups. Nine of 
pentacles again. That was someone's rock. Someone lost their rock. But a lot of you in regards to a connection too, I'm getting like, I'm not going to worry about what society thinks. I'm not going to worry about what parents or neighbors or whoever thinks they have a say in your life. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just being silly, but you know, you don't really care what anyone thinks about your situation anymore. Four of Swords, near future. Why is this here for Aries? Finally getting some peace, some rest. Um, some recovery. Someone is defending you. Queen of Swords, Two of Cups. Could be dealing with an air sign in the near future, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but overall, Queen of Swords represents like a, a conversation, like we need to hash it out. We need to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. With who? Two of Cups, your soulmate, your partner, your person, your friend. It's like y'all are gonna talk about what happened, play catch up a little bit for some of you. Yeah, five of wands, seven of swords. Why is the five of wands here? Lovers to a pentacles tower. I feel like you and someone are playing catch up about hard times. Um, like, I don't want to say trauma bonding because I don't love, that's not the healthiest, but I feel like you and a friend, you and a romantic person, who's your two of cups? Seven of cups, tower, judgment, someone, six of cups, someone who's always there for you. Like a ride or die bestie, a romantic person, a family member. I feel like in the near future, you get a lot of, oh, I feel better. I needed to talk to someone. I needed to get that off of my chest kind of thing. A lot of you could be going to therapy, counseling, um, of any or any of that type of thing and or I feel like also you just get to talk with somebody to hash out and just talk about like you're swapping stories you went through that yeah I went through that too oh you did that yeah I've gone through something similar and I feel like because you maybe don't feel alone anymore in your situation if you felt lonely um you're like well someone else went through this as well all right why are you the queen of wands I heard sassy pants. <laughs> I have a lot of Aries in my chart too. I get it. I get it. I get it. What's this queen of wands for uh, Aries, please? Why are they the queen of wands? Lovers again. Oh my God. Because everything happens for a reason. Page of Pentacles, lovers, tower, Scorpio energy, world card. Anybody gonna break my stride? Anybody gonna hold me down? Like no matter what you're going through with like all these towers, I feel like you've remained you. Like you're you're the you're showing up right now. You are showing up right now, Aries, who I'm connecting with. No matter what you're going through, family stuff, financial stuff, romantic heartbreak stuff, any and all of it could be happening. Sitting on my love. But you are not the type of person to, I'm going to, misery loves company. You're like, I'm not going to go to my friends or my family and blah, 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 and make them feel bad and pull them down. You probably talk about your stuff or what's going on a little here and there or whatever. But what I see is you're just radiating you're you're not letting it, it uh, uh, affect you in a negative way page of pentacles is saying whatever life experiences and things that you're that you're that are happening they, they can feel like why did that happen to me it, it's you're so in a good place even though there's a lot going on that you realize this is happening for you for you to move for you to not be you know stagnant somewhere world card maybe for you to close out a cycle that needed to be closed because if you don't close a cycle that you know needs to be closed out roll card, eventually the universe is going to step in to tower and they're going to take, they're going to do it for you. So I feel for a lot of you, you've been able to maintain yourself, your energy relatively very well. Again, round of applause, despite what headaches and challenges and life experience, life has thrown at you recently. Why the Page of Pentacles? 
Three of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yes, that's another thing too. A lot of you are also um, playing catch up. Like I said, if you've pushed push some things off, had some procrastination, en procrastination energy stuff going on, you're human, we're all human. Um, no judgment, but I feel like you're 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 chipping at it. You're chipping away at it. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Why is the magician here? Um, this is a hidden energy. This is maybe something you don't realize you want, or maybe you don't realize what someone wants from you. Why is the magician in the hidden energy for Aries, please? Hangman, four of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Three of pentacles, nine of cups. Someone that you're around often, three of pentacles, you go to the same coffee shop. You might work with this person. It might be someone in the family, someone who you're around frequently, collaboration energy. Hangman, four of pentacles. I feel like I'm getting like, hey, you know that one person at the office? I need a roommate. What about them? Ah, what about them? And they might be thinking the same thing about you. Um, hey, what about that one person you think we could... Um, like I'm getting collaboration energy. Like say, you know, you're in a band and y'all need a new drummer. And you know, you're like, hey, what about that person? Cool. And they're like, hey, I want to audition for Aries band. It's like, whatever it is, whatever basically you're seeking, it's also seeking you. But it feels like, again, a collaboration, three of pentacles. You and someone actually do feel very similar about some type of goal or situation. Why the hangman, ace of swords, judgment, chariot? Someone had to take a good hard look in the mirror at themselves or their situation. I feel like someone's really stepping it up or about to step it up and realize like how much you put into to, to your situation and they want to step it up. What's with that temperance? Someone's healing. Someone wants to open a business with you as well for some of you, or you want to open a business. Because it's like someone changing roles in your life. Someone who you're like, hey, yeah, I might work at the office with that person, but hey, I heard you play guitar. I heard you whatever, whatever. Want to join our group? Want to go out with us? But what you may not know is, yes, that person's been like, I really hope Aries invites me to whatever, whatever. You and someone do want to work it out and do the same, build something together. Why is the hopes and fears the queen of pentacles for you? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Full card, eight of swords, eight of pentacles, hermit. Some of you could be fearing um, or hoping for a Virgo specifically. This way, Eight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, um, full card. I feel like you're hoping that something that you've been working on really, really hard does work out. And I feel like you're scared that you'll have to start over again. Like a lot of you have put, I don't wanna say all of your eggs in a person or in a job or a situation's basket, but a lot. Like you put a lot of money and time and effort into you know, a work project into a person, into redoing your home, into something. And you're like, please don't tell me I've spent all this time, money, effort, energy, and I'll have to start it again, or I'll have to do it again, or it's not right. But the hope is, oh, okay, I don't have to do it again. I did it. All right, let's look at the outcome lover's card. We'll do your pick a card, and then we will do the love reading. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Why is the lovers in the outcome for Aries? I almost said Gemini. This is their card. Stress. 
Strength card, Three of Wands, Leo Energy, Six of Wands, Oh my God, Ten of Cups in the Chariot. Yeah, the, you might have felt like you, like things have been pulled back or slowed down in your situation recently, but I feel like it was for a reason. Why the Strength card? What did you have to overcome? Um, wow, Judgment, King of Wands, Ten of Swords. Some of y'all had to overcome a Leo specifically or whatever this counterpart is. Um, there's some ups and downs or delays with that person. Y'all could have been even just distant recently. But I feel like as you're playing catch up in your life for your personal things, um, someone also wants to join you and, and, and play catch up and be Ten of Cups. Be in the family, be in the relationship, be in the group, be in the team. What's the Ten of Cups to you? Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. So I feel like there is light at the end of the tunnel after a very difficult um breakup loss a lot of things have been put on hold or delay and it's like we finally everything's coming full circle now see one beautiful happy family here all right aries absolutely beautiful um let's do your pick a card and those of you that want to join us for the love reading that's the first link in the description box below and the aries that won the pick a card this time is lee flint flinch Ba, oh my God, I'm probably saying your last name totally wrong. But Lee, you are my winner. All right, so Aries, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your love and support. I'll see y'all in the love reading or next time. Bye. Lee, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. Okay, last one. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Lee? Aries energy. This is for Lee. Ten of Wands. Something really difficult and challenging is coming to an end. Like the like the, the dog days are over. Yeah. Wow. World card high priestess. So yeah, something. Something really difficult, whatever you've been going through, a lot of challenges, Ten of Wands, World Card, High Priestess, it's coming to like a major end. This is like a, it feels more like a karmic cycle that you had to like wrap, do, go through some karmic experiences, but they're done or they're, they're coming to an end. So the Ace of Wands so that you can have something new and exciting come through. All right, Spirit, what does Lee need to know right now? Strength card again. So you're really going through it. You're really going through something. Strength card is a no joke card. Like we're not playing around with the, when the strength card comes out. It's like, ooh. Also, card of Leo could be dealing with a Leo. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. What do we have for Lee? Spirit, what does Lee need to know? There's that Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands came out. You have two new beginnings. Queen of Swords, maybe with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Strong Feminine, Four of Cups. I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna start to become open to this person's idea or what they have to say. And Four of Wands, Four of Swords. I want to say something like you've been having a tough time, but like Ace of Pentacles, say for example, you've started a new job or you're about to start a new job. And as you start the new job, the pentacle and the money comes in, the new place, the new experience, Ace of Wands, you meet a new person, something exciting. They'll have a chat about it, Queen of Swords, and there's some type of a union, commitment or celebration um, for Swords where you'll be like, oh, I can rest now. I can, I can sleep. I can, I can sleep in peace now. 
there's something about these two new beginnings that I, I wouldn't say they wouldn't be here without this because nothing that's truly meant for you will miss you. But the reason why you're getting two new beginnings is because you have like gone through or endured something and you've done very good about being mature about it. I feel like whatever this is, you had every reason to like be upset and snap and, and be, you know, I'm getting like rage and angry about something, but you were like, no, just keeping the peace, keeping the peace. And because of that, you're getting some type of reward, a commitment. Let's see. Why is the strength card here for Leo? Let's do the clarifiers. Let's clarify. Why is the strength card here for Lee? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Oh my God. Devil Ten of Pentacles. You've overcome like an addiction or a codependent relationship. You might have overcome a Capricorn specifically, but like Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel. You've been dealing with some dark night of the soul stuff for sure. You've had a lot of difficult, heavy things to deal with. Um, and in those times, it's easy to get swayed into other things. But I feel like you're like, okay, I can do better. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to balance this out. I'm going to overcome, you know. Devil can be like, again, an addiction. It's fear-based. Um, it could be like a codependent relationship. Um, someone or a situation who believes that they have control over you, which nothing does. You are in control of you. But sometimes we let things get out of control. Anyways, so you're definitely overcom overcoming something very, very dark, and I'm very proud of you. So let's look at your Ace of Pentacles. What is this here for Lee? King of Cups, Page of Cups. I feel like there is some type of new creative outlet uh, for you, like a creative job. Um, something that you've always wanted to do. And also, I do feel like a water sign really wants to invest in you. Someone might want to uh, get to know you better. Someone wants to put in the time. Someone might be also paying for some type of, uh, like you might get an offer from someone to pay for therapy, counseling, um, or something like that as well. Like funding and real, um, real connection is coming in here. What's this Ace of Wands for Lee? Five of Cups, Hermit. There is going to be a new beginning um, with a person or situation that you have felt very disappointed in. There's going to be a new beginning with a person or situation that you have been sad or disappointed about. Okay. Then you need to talk about it. Queen of Swords. Why is this here for Lee? Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords, someone someone was lying to you and put a lot of the burden on your shoulders. What else with this Queen of Swords? Ooh, Five of Swords, Six of Wands. I think you tell someone you can't. It's like, a, I can't do this. I love you, but I can't. On your four of wands, seven of wands. Yeah, you're very resistant. You're, there's going to be an offer for someone to want to be in a relationship with you again, um, be in a connection with you, live with you, something like that. And you're like, no, no. Why? Six of wands, ten of pentacles, two of swords. Someone makes it all about them. Why can you four of swords get sleep? Six of wands, because you're the victor here. And Chariot, you're going to move forward. Who is this other person to you? Death card. They could be a Scorpio. Um, it could be someone that's in spirit that has literally passed that you're dealing with that. Sending my love and condolences. Or this person's just dead to you now. Queen of Wands. Be a counterpart probably. But yeah, I feel like there's been something or someone in your life that's made it very difficult. You're going to have an opportunity to uh, get emotional your emotional needs um, fulfilled here. Someone's probably gonna wanna come back. It feels Ace of Wands like for a hookup situation. Um, and that's why you're like, no, cause it could lead to more, more things that you don't wanna get back into with this situation. What's the Four of Wands to you, Queen of Cups? It feels like a relationship. Best of luck, sending you lots of love. Um, take care of yourself, 
All right. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.